everyone, so in this video we'll have a look at the Sphero uh, rig test character. You can access this through the welcome window here or through the uh, Akitsu help menu. If you go through rig test character it will open up the Windows Explorer and you will have access to it. But um, since we need extra uh, files for this uh, quick tutorial we will have to go through the website. So there you will be able to download extra files for each of these characters. We can see that we have the Sphero.akt plus the Sphero leg in both FBX and Akt. So if you want to learn Akitsu, um, this leg is really cool just to uh, learn how rigging works, how skinning works. Start with this guy if you want to learn animation. Um, the purpose of both files is really to learn Akitsu the fastest way possible and have fun while you do this. So you have both reverse foots, like so, okay. And they work exactly like um, for the other character. So if I right click somewhere, it will turn it white or red. Then you have the big, uh, the lower part of the character, which is the pelvis. If you uh, browse up, you will move through the, the, the big ball here. So you can select this uh, little part, which can be useful if you make some, uh, say, some jumps like this. So you can offset each of these elements and have a, uh, a more living animation. And if you move up again, and go into rotate mode, you will be able to rotate both eyes around the, the head. It's even better if you turn on the unlit mode. So there you really have the, the idea of what's possible with this guy. Then you can also select your eyes and scale uh, these. So joints here are really placed where the mesh is. So you can control this, but don't, don't try to, you know, turn your eye because it can go like this. But you can, of course, rotate this a little bit if you want. It's possible. Then if you go down, down the pelvis, you will have a hips joint. This one will help you uh, just rotate uh, the starting point of the leg, of both legs, in addition to your pelvis. So you can make um, you can make more crazy movement. Then you have just the, the leg, which is pretty simple. So you can move it in FK if you need. You have also the possibility to move the last joint here. And um, the last part will be about this one, the brain. It's like a little ball inside of another ball. So you can do some uh, ball and socket uh, play with this character. So it's really, it's a really simple one, but you can do a wide variety of uh, animations. Even if you're starting to learn, it's a good way to, to start. Then, if you want to start learning the, the how you rig in Akitsu, you can start with the FBX we've just seen uh, before. So the FBX comes without any joint, so you will have to rig it yourself. Just as a quick demo, um, I will just rename first my character node. It's important to do this, so let's name it Sasha, Sasha Sphero Leg. Okay, since uh, both elements here have the same name, Akitsu renamed it automatically. That's not a problem. Then select the character. Be sure to be in build pose. Click on the create join button and pick the little uh, balls, which represents your um, character's articulations. 
this way you can really learn how to, to place joints, how to uh, then skin your character. So here I right click on the first joint to select all of my hierarchy. Then control click on the, the mesh I want to skin to this joint. So you're not forced to skin the wall parts of your uh, character. And then go in paint and check and hit this little uh, skin button. And once your character has been skinned, you can start manipulating it like this. And then you will need to uh, refine your skinning since the character is a robot. If you want to create a reverse foot, it's also possible. So just click on the end joint, first joint, create reverse foot. And that's it. You've created your first reverse foot. This file does not go um, much beyond this, but it's really the basics of Akitsu and it's really important to nail this uh, before going on much complex characters. And it can seem difficult to start with a fully uh, biped character. So that's why we've uh, added these files. So now we will see our animations. So here we have a walk, a run and a jump. Each of these animations have uh, their very own uh, specificities uh, to look for. So the first one is good, the walk is good uh, just to see a few walk poses for a pelvis, a pelvis sorry, and uh, legs. It's also good to see where we decided to, uh, um, to make our reverse foot red or white. You can also decide to speed up uh, the animation if you if you want and see how uh, to proceed. So in this case, maybe I would like to have a slower animation. So I go in the stacker window, click on the uh, quick key selection and change the timing here. So now just zoom out to a selected keyframes and play the animation. So I can see it's smoother, it's slower, it's really cool. The run itself is super cool uh, to look at just for uh, how the character deforms. We have squashed stretches and, and uh, yeah, it makes it really fluid. Again, if you want, you can decide to uh, slow it down. Like so. Don't uh, forget to stop and play uh, again the animation. It's really nice. And then you have a jump. And you can notice that uh, on some of our in-betweens, we have really uh, squashed and uh, stretched the character. Like this. You can also uh, play with uh, the A uh, position, just to give more um, a movement to your jump. And then you're free to make your own uh, uh, first animations with this character, which is really, really important to go through if you are starting animation. So that's it. I hope you've learned a few things and that it will uh, make you want to, to rig more characters uh, after this. Happy animating with Akitsu and uh, don't hesitate if you have any questions. See you. Bye bye.